we've had a major additional interest rate increase. What we're seeing overall is a normalizing market. Which way it's heading? Let's check it out. Hello, this is Christine Copper with Sotheby's Realty in Vancouver, BC, doing our monthly market update. We're taking a look at the stats ending the month of August. So here we are in September, wondering how the summer closed out. Hope you're all experiencing a great back to school. Obviously, things are a little bit hectic in the beginning of September, getting our kids to school or first time to school and getting back into our routines from the summer. So let's take a look at the stats. So I want to focus on the month of August. We had 1870 sales. That was down 0.9% for the month over July, down almost 41% year over year. Uh, September, we had new listings, 2000, sorry, August 3,328 down from 3,960. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, inventory has been remaining lower, and we're going to look at that in just a moment. Listings in August, they were down 16% month over month, down 17.5% year over year. And here's our total inventory. This is a really key indicator as to where the market is going. It's, an, it's one of the very important aspects of the market to see how things are going to play out in the months to come. We have 9,662 active listings. That's down, as you can see from the months previous, especially during the summertime here. We're down 6.1% month over month in, total, in terms of total active listings and up 7% year over year. So this is really good news. It's creating stability in the marketplace due to the total number of sales. We have lower activity in the sales department. However, we're not seeing a flood of listings coming on the marketplace. And that's really important. I don't think there's sellers out there. They might have a ton of equity. Some people just don't have to sell. Some people will have to sell, but I don't feel like we're getting that flood of people feeling like they need to get their homes on the market. Um, and why should they? They've got lots of equity over the last few years. So remember, we're dealing with what has been a somewhat short term, very quick appreciation in the marketplace. And if anyone's been in the market for any length of time, we're all sitting there with a lot of equity in our homes. So there's no reason to sell unless you must sell. Um, and that's probably a bit of what's happening here. And buyers are more cautious, you know, interest rates are impacting them. Um, the number that I really like to look at is the months of inventory. We're currently sitting at 5.2 months of inventory. And if you recall from my other videos, between four and six months of inventory in this market is considered a balanced market. Less than four months of inventory is a seller's market. More than six months of inventory is a buyer's market. So we're, we've been easing up from what was considered a seller's market, and then we're transitioning into a balanced market. Um, currently. We're going to take a look at where we're at in September. These aren't the final numbers, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek here. But let's just still focus on how we closed out August. So we're at 1.180 for the benchmark price for the month of August. And you can see that's been a downward trend over the last four months. Up top here, these are, if you can see, those are the interest rate increases that we have experienced since the beginning of this tightening cycle. And we are definitely seeing a major change in that space. Now, I'm just going to quickly um, show you here. This is the sales to actives ratio. Again, another absorption rate, how fast your house is moving. We're moving into a balanced marketplace for all property types. But when you break it down here, 12% is just on the cusp of a buyer's market for detached and still sitting in higher uh, seller's territory for townhomes and uh, apartments. But as we look down, you can see, you know, the the peak was definitely locked in back at March and the price declines have been set in. And you can also see the high volume of sales earlier this year to what we're seeing today, a more normalized market. Same thing for townhomes peaking out at 1.150 uh, right here in April. Now we're down at about a million sixty nine sales from a thousand down to about three fifty five. Um, apartment condos peaking out about 835 earlier this year. And again, this is for the, the real estate board of Greater Vancouver. So this is very broad, new homes, old homes from Mission all the way to Whistler, okay? Um, 835 and down to 740, had 2,300 sales down to 998. So jumping back in over here, just wanted to take a look at where we're at today. In September so far, we've had 768 sales. 
it's pretty light on the sales side of things. If we did another double of that the rest of the month, we're, we're, we wouldn't actually catch up to August numbers, which is interesting to me. We have had slower Septembers. Remember, we do have back to school, that sort of thing. So um, there are some distractions earlier on in the month of September with, with the seasonality. New listings, again, we're kind of sitting in play with what we've been seeing over the last few months. However, if um, inventory is looking like it's starting to pick up just a little bit, just because we aren't selling through as much of our existing or new inventory, if this trend does last, this is what our months of inventory could look like. So this is a really interesting number to me that would be very heavy buyer's market territory. So check in with me. We are going to do an update uh, the beginning of October to see where we're at today. If you're thinking about buying or selling in today's market, please keep in mind interest rates are so different than they were before. Uh, and just very quickly here, here is a mortgage calculator just to show you the kind of interest rates we're seeing today versus what we were seeing even earlier this year when they were sitting around 2%. Uh, a five-year close at TD is sitting at 6.14. And we've heard that there should be some more interest rate increases baked in. Please check out some of the commentary from one of our um, favorite mortgage brokers, Jacqueline Zerby, uh, from the Total Mortgage Group that will be included in this newsletter. So with that, if you're thinking about buying or selling, we are in a normalizing market. We're back to a market where people have some time to make some decisions contact me. Let's talk about your plan. It's really going to differ depending if you're buying or selling. However, there can be some excellent opportunities out there. So I welcome the conversation. Thank you so much. I'm Christine Copper with Sotheby's Realty. Make sure you like this video, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe and let us know what questions you have so we can address them on our next videos. Thank you so much. Take care.